<clears throat> moving right along here while we got this uh, halfway torn apart anyway. Decided not to take off the flywheel. Don't want to mess with it. This, uh, right where the muffler is here at the bottom, it's looking pretty oily. I just want to take a look and see if we can clean that off a little bit before we uh, put this all back together. Um, just make sure we have a nice clean muffler. It's, it doesn't feel excessively heavy like it's got uh, oil in it, but we'll take this off uh, and see what's going on underneath there um, where that exhaust comes out right there. Let's see if we can focus on that a little better. That one right there. We'll take that off and see. And while we're at it, I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, spark plug out to make this a whole heck of a lot easier to turn. Oh, man. <clears throat> Can't get anything on it. Can't get a turn on that, baby. Okay, it goes down on there. So, man, this that sucker's tight. So let's get a, uh, let's get a bar on that, some kind of bar. Where's my bar? Give me a bar, man. Where's my bar? Okay. I have a trusty old bar laying around here. It is. Okay, we're gonna get this on here. Try to get some leverage on the spark plug. Oh my god, that thing's that, that's tight. That's super tight. Hasn't been off in years, I'll bet. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I still I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get anything on that. <clears throat> no, not here. I don't think so. It is bending that. This is, this is my uh, crappy well job piece of uh, bolt that's on there. Let's get a real, let's get a real socket on that mama. Here we go. Is that gonna fit on there? No, I don't know what socket size that. Oh, what is that? That's a smaller one. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Where did I put that? Come on. There we go. Is this it? Let's make sure that this is it. Let's go get on there now. You gotta be kidding me. Because that's, cause that's too small. Okay. Those are too small. I have the socket for this. I know. Where is it? I have to cut this part out. Oh, shit. Usually got a good handle on where my tools go and the tools I need for particular jobs. And I don't know where that is socket is that I need. Usually I keep all this stuff pretty much. I know those are the wrong sizes. Okay. Uh, 13 16th, 13 16th. 5 8 13. I got a bunch of 13, 16. Okay, I don't need that many. Let me take one of those out. I like to have for these, uh, <clears throat> when I'm doing these spark plugs, one with swivel on it and one that's just straight deep wells. So I need between 5 eighths and 13, 16 Usually have that laying around. Here it is. Okay. Usually keep that. My sockets, spark plug sockets in that uh, red tray over there. <laughs> and I had it I was just working with this a couple days ago so that's why it isn't in there we'll put an extension on that and get my 3 8 wrench get the wrench 3 8 wrench okay get some serious torque on this thing there we go broke it loose break it loose and get this sucker out of here. Get some spans on it. All right. Yeah, 
this thing was running okay but man that that plug's seen better days it's not terrible it's kind of wet you can see that Let's see if you can get a focus on that yeah so okay so that plugs out <clears throat> now i did that for the most part to be able to see down inside of there as i pull actually i'm not going to pull the rope because the rope's not in there right now Let's see if i can get some light down in here so i can show you what's going on see the piston right there we're gonna move it up and down as we try to get some light on it looking at it i'm looking at a super clean piston man that thing is shiny i don't think see any streaks on it it looks like the piston rings are very much intact i don't know if you could tell it's kind of a weird angle try to hold this thing see it i'm seeing a pretty clean piston right there I don't know if you can see that so there it is looking pretty good to me figured since i uh had this mostly apart <clears throat> might as well take a look to see what that piston looks like not a lot of carbon build up there and this right here looking pretty uh oily right here so let's go ahead and take this off real quick almost looks like a five eighths and a 5 8 will do. I don't think it's the uh, proper the exact size for this. This is probably uh, something else. 7 sixteenths, maybe. But let's get a little torque on it. There we go. Just break it loose. Okay. Then we'll go ahead and take this off, see what it looks like. If there's any uh, magic, magic parts in here or something. Let's see. Okay. Got the screen. Okay, that's cool. So we uncovered the screen. Yeah, I just worked on one of these. It was a nice backpack blower a couple weeks ago. And that's all that was wrong with that thing. It, it would not accelerate. It would just, whenever you pulled on, uh, that's a symptom there. When you pull on the trigger, it just, if you let it go, it'll idle. It'll idle just fine. You go to pull that trigger, give it throttle, or it'll... It won't go to full power. It's just miss, you know, it's losing power. It won't power up. So all you gotta do with this is take and screw it off. A little magic juice. Got that magic juice. Okay. Nice and clean. See through that pretty good. Maybe uh take the nut that came off of there. Where is it? Oh, it's part of it. Okay. Spray that off a little bit too. Give a little wipe down. Maybe spray this off a little bit. Yeah. That's where all the nasty stuff comes out anyway. It looks pretty clean in there. Clean the screen. It's going to breathe better. Got to breathe better. After that, while I'm at it, I'll just go ahead and stick this right back on. And we'll be done with looking at any potential burned engine issues this engine looks really super clean happy it ran good man didn't even need to have a use choke on this it ran real well for a while without the uh with that primer bulb being uh basically falling apart it still ran okay it ran real good for a while then uh that diaphragm just couldn't keep up so that tells me it's it's got some pretty good compression going there you might have to take these out and look down that hole i really didn't want to have to mess with trying to go through this plastic but it looks like it's gonna have to happen that way and where is this yeah it feels like that's that's on right there let's see just kind of get one of these sort of half started. We should be good to go. Uh, yeah, that's got a couple threads grabbing. And now we're going to take the other side. Get it up in there. Come on, man. Get yourself in there. You kidding me? 
it's going to make me have to. Oh, you got to be kidding. Don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, let me give this a little help. Okay, there we go. Okay, this other one started now. We just got to find the hole and try not to strip the hell out of it, putting it back in there. There we go. I think I get, did I get it? Okay, that side's on for sure. How is this thing not lining up? I don't get that. All right. It's not going real good. Okay, loosen this up. Just get it loose. Find a hole. You gotta be kidding me. Try to get started with my fingers. I don't want to get strip this thing. That would suck. Okay, I got a hold of it now. There we go. Sure, it doesn't seem to be lining up. Nope. Yeah, this is a, becoming a pain, man. Start totally over. Get this off of here. All right. Okay, it's got to be kind of like this. I got to get this inside one going first, I think. That's, that's going to be the critical one. But it just doesn't seem like it's supposed to go in there some reason what's up having a hard time with this I think it's got to go up higher yes it's got to be it all right let me see if I can find this whole scribe Scribe. Scribes. Love scribes. Gotta have scribes to survive. Gotta have scribes. Get that hole kind of lined up. Yeah, and I just bumped it off while I'm in the ballpark. Let's see if I can get it started. Get this one kind of couple threads going. All right. Kind of wants to go. It's sort of in there, I think. I'm pretty sure that's it. Man, I don't want to cross thread this sucker. Oh, I got that one, that inside one, the hard one. And that went in easy enough. Okay. Holy crap. Okay, it's on there. Wow. So. But it was nice to be able to check out the condition of the exhaust port. Okay, so when I order the new carb assembly, probably going to come with a new spark plug. I'll put this plug over to the side for a minute with all the other parts. And then put it in the uh, my little box of abandoned spark plugs. You never know. I don't like throwing spark plugs away. Usually never anything wrong with spark plugs, unless something inside the engine's going wrong, and it fouls this, and it gets caked on there, and it just, then you can probably throw it away, unless you just want to come out here and use a wire brush, dip it in some acid or something like that, and then use a wire brush, be careful, always use eye protection, and um, only use acid if you know what just what you're doing, but let's see, yeah, plug doesn't look fine. I would keep plugs forever. If, if they're doing fine. I, I've changed so many old plugs and put new plugs in and never saw any, uh, not a bit of difference gas mileage wise, performance wise. So I'm a believer. If you got that plug clean and your engine uh, mixture is good and your engine's running fine, why not? Why not use that old plug? But hey, if you like new things, cook yourself a new plug, gap it right, stick it in there, cross your fingers.